Hi, hello, uh, my name is Abdul Karim from University of Science Malaysia. In the previous uh, tutorial, in the previous video, I've shown you how to format Microsoft Word document properly uh, by applying style, a heading style to the heading, to the title. This is the manuscript that is ready to be converted into EPUB. So I just uh, run through this document copyright page, education page, table of content which we have uh, inserted. So you can see here in the table of content, uh, part one here, we have applied uh, the heading one style and part two as well. And each chapter has been applied with heading two uh, style. So what we did um, in the previous video, we have applied uh, each uh, section here, part 1 with heading 1 and we insert the picture and chapter here, chapter 1 and so on, we have applied chap uh, heading 2. So this Microsoft Word document uh, is ready now to be converted. So in order to convert this into an EPUB or MOBI format, which, which are the two common formats for ebook, um, we need a uh, we can use a free application uh, which we can download from the internet. It's called Calibre, or some people pronounce it Calibre. So it's actually a full, uh, it is a, a free application which we can download into your um, laptop. So um, I have opened this uh, Calibre here on my laptop here. So this is how it looks like, uh, very simple. Uh, this is where you can add a document to be converted into EPUB or MOBI. And these are some of the other, other things that I will go through uh, through this uh, tutorial. So I will add the Word document which uh, we have uh, formatted just now. So this is uh, the one. Okay, so we highlight uh, the file to be uh, converted, which is this one. Then um, the first thing that we have to do is to go to edit metadata. Metadata is actually basically the information and the description about the book. So uh, put a name uh, or the title of the book is Musings on Learning. So you put a title here, then you click here. Uh, title sort, so you will put the information in this box. And the author is maybe your name. And click here to put it uh, in this field. And you have a series, let's say if this book is part of a series, like you know, Harry Potter, they have a series of books. So if your book is part of a series, you can put information about the series here. Then uh, you can um, change the cover. This is actually the picture from, from the book that uh, Calibre has uh, put it here and it assumes that it's cover of the, that you want to use this as a cover of the book. Uh, if it's not the one, uh, so you can change the cover here, change cover, then click browse and go to where your, you have saved your book uh, cover. Okay, I'll use this one. So there's a book cover. Okay. Um, then uh, put the information, uh, the keywords that describe your book. Okay, okay I think um, then you can uh, click OK. Then the next thing that you can do is to uh, go to convert books. Right, so um, you can go through each one of these. For example, uh, metadata, we have put in the information just now, so the information uh, appear here. Then look and feel. Uh, here, you, I think uh, most of the time you want to just leave it as default. Uh, I will skip the heuristic, heuristic processing here. Page setup, I think by just use a default. Structure detection here. We use page break to uh, to separate each uh, chapter. 
okay um, the most important is actually the table of content here um, if you don't have table of content in your, in Microsoft Word you can actually get uh, caliber to prepare the table of contents you can you click for you can click here force use of auto generated table of content but in this case you already have um, the table of content inserted in your Microsoft Word uh, document all you need to do now is to specify um, under here level 1 remember if you remember when we in, in the, the previous uh, exercise or tutorial we apply each one for part 1 to so for, uh, and part 2 to separate the section so h1 is for part 1 and part 2 in the previous uh, Microsoft Word document and each chapter was uh, uh, applied with h2 so we apply this h2 for each chapter so we must specify it here so Calibre will take this information will use this information to prepare the so-called the logical table of content which is part of uh, any any ebook when we read the ebook in the e-reader okay so uh, then uh, if you click OK now uh, another uh, one of the you must uh, take note here the output format here this is where very important where you want to specify whether your output format is EPUB, MOBI or some other format usually between these two EPUB and MOBI if you want to upload your book to Kindle, Amazon Kindle, then you can uh, convert to Mobi. But even if you convert to EPUB, you can still uh, upload EPUB format to Kindle and Kindle will convert that into uh, Mobi. But um, if you convert into EPUB, EPUB can be used to upload your ebook to uh, other platform as well, not only Kindle. But if you plan to upload your ebook only to Kindle, then I think I would suggest you convert directly to Mobi. For now, for this exercise, I just choose uh, EPUB. Then uh, our input document is uh, Microsoft Word. So if you click OK, the conversion will now start. So you can watch here. The conversion is now taking place. So you can see our Word document ah, now. You can see EPUB. So our original document is in the format, uh, Microsoft Word format, the OCX. Now we get the EPUB. Uh, file already uh, uh, done it's already converted so if we click this it will open the previewer which allow you to preview your book so we click that and caliber will open the previewer to allow us to preview the book and uh, we can check each uh, so this is a table of content generated by caliber uh, so you can check whether each chapter looks uh, you know, uh, fine. So you can go to each uh, chapter and see whether there is any, you know, uh, glaring mistake. Uh, so you can go through part two here, chapter five, six, and so on. So if it looks okay, you can close the previewer. Uh, so you can, you know, go through the code document in the previewer like this, okay? So click close. So now, um, if you click open, it will uh, open the folder that contain the EPUB that we have just converted. If you click open, so it will take you to the EPUB. So this is the EPUB file that we have generated uh, from from Caliber. If we double click this, it will open. Uh, the preview on my laptop is uh, iBook. And you know, uh, so that's how it looks like in my uh, iBook previewer. So we have part one, we have a picture there, and chapter one start at the beginning of the page, and there is the quotes. And it's a chapter two, oh, sorry, page two, page three, and it's chapter two, chapter three, chapter four, and the part two start from here, chapter five, chapter six, chapter seven, and so on. So in ebook reader, if I put uh, my cursor here, you can see this is actually a table of content. This is what we call logical table of content. Each ebook should have a logical table of content. And when you read the ebook in any uh, ebook reader, 
you will see this symbol which means uh, which uh, means that you can access the table of content and you can jump from chapter to chapter uh, easily by using this table of uh, content so that is uh, basically how you convert Microsoft Word using Calibre it's actually a very simple process uh, to convert and you can uh, do the conversion again to uh, just now uh, we can uh, we converted to EPUB but you can repeat this process again to convert the book into let's say now to a MOBI uh, format okay so if I repeat this process and convert again so this time I will get the other format which is MOBI so now I have MOBI format so maybe I can preview this again it will open the previewer probably uh, you know it will look more or less uh, the same so we can uh, scroll from page to page or you can press the so there's a table of, this is a table of content that we generate in word uh, document part one and so on okay so basically um, that's all uh, the tutorial how to convert the word document into epub or into mobi by using caliber application